don't really have anywhere else to sit that has really good lighting there isn't a whole lot of lighting in this house like this house doesn't have a lot of natural light that comes in which is a bummer this is really the only room that has a lot of natural light but I don't have blinds and I I have to put something on these windows because I have I have both of my neighbors outside and then I have uh, I don't know is it the electrical I construction workers in the back so everyone is seeing the Danny Ray Arrange channel <laughs> it's okay coffee I need it. I'm also losing my voice. That could be a sign, but I'm not taking it. I won't accept that sign. No, I won't. I won't accept that sign. Can't stop me. <laughs> All right, let's get into the video. So, today's video, I really hope that you like today's video. This is, what am I, I might as well stop saying that. They're all going to be chatty and weird and odd. I want to talk about some of the things that I haven't thus far in the series. So, we're going to get right into the video. And the first thing that I'm going to talk about, shopping. Oh, shopping. Oh, I love you, but we're breaking up. <laughs> it's not you. It's you. Yeah. It's not me. It's you. No more. Uh, we need to part ways. It's time. We're just no good for each other anymore. It's been fun. It's been fun. A lot of good memories. A lot of good times. You've burnt a hole in my wallet. But a lot of good times. I feel like you're a little bit of a gold digger. That's not where I'm at anymore. We've changed. And we've grown apart and we've moved on. I know. It's okay. Hold in the tears and back it up. Take a breath. It'll be fine. We'll be strong. There's plenty of fish in the sea. It'll bother me to know that you'll be with someone else, but burn a hole in their wallet. I can't handle it anymore. It's becoming too much. We need to part ways and find our own path. I won't ever forget our times together. The shoes, the makeup, the clothes, the purses, the decor, the decor, the throws. But we must part ways. It is time. So go, leave me. I can't bear to look at you in the eyes. It hurts too much. End, end. <laughs> That's my breakup with shopping. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> Something that I feel like is really important to talk about is shopping. And the reason why I say that is because I used to do retail therapy a lot. I don't know if you've ever heard the term retail therapy, but I certainly used to do that. When I would feel anxious or I would feel stressed, I would shop. I would head to my favorite store or even better, I would jump online, usually to Amazon, and I would do mindless shopping. When I stress shopped, that was when I did the most mindless shopping. And the problem is, is that I, 
I was looking for a solution and at the time of shopping, it always felt better. It made me feel better. The problem was it it was a Band-Aid and when that Band-Aid came off, the wound was even worse because I usually always felt worse. random pictures all over that hutch like just random pictures how old was I in here I was 20 23 look how serious I am I'm like trying to be all like model like like I'm so cool Like it's the confused look. It's all, it's like, you know, I'm trying to think of what, what I was thinking at that time I was in my parents' bathroom. Why did I take a picture in my parents' bathroom? I think I was trying to make like a Facebook profile picture or something, but I'm like. I'm trying to get serious because I used to be more serious. <laughs> okay. I went through a lot of phases in my younger years and thought I was so cool. <laughs> and I'm so cool. <laughs> anyway, it was me. That was me. My younger years. <laughs> oh. So I took all the books out of the, the uh, I took all of the books out of the top cabinets in the hutch. Uh, I divided everything. Most of the books, I would say the majority, the majority of the books that were up there were kids books. But this is kids books, kids books, kids books, kids books, kids books. These two piles here are adult books. So what I'm gonna do, and the thing is, is I've had the hardest time trying to figure out where to place books. I did not want them. I didn't want the books in the bookshelf. Uh, I didn't like them in there. I also had the books in the cabinets in the fourth season. I didn't like them in there. So then I moved them up into the hutch. Never what liked them this? in there. Okay, see this is the stuff that, this is just, this is just the why stuff. Okay. I don't know why I've kept this. I wanna say I got it at the Dollar Tree. I think we were keeping change in here, but now I have a new place for change. So instead, I threw adhesive glue in there. And keys. <laughs> ah, <this is> random. <sighs> all right, well, first of all, <laughs> I'm recycling this. <laughs> So some of the stuff that's in the junk drawer, I'll be using my, um, where are they? These. So I know I showed this in the bathroom video, I've showed these in other videos, where I picked up these little clear containers. There's three different sizes from, I, I picked, I ordered these off of Amazon. They're perfect for micro-organizing small stuff. So some stuff is gonna go in these containers in the junk drawer, but for other things that don't fit in these, I needed something a little bit bigger. Um, I knew that there was gonna be things in there that weren't gonna fit in those little containers. So um, what's nice about these is that you get three to a pack, and they're just really nice divider trays. You, you get three. I don't know why I picked up three of them, six of that's nine. I know math. <laughs> yep. I 
would edit that out, Danielle. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I don't know why I got three of these, um, which are nine in total. You just said that. My goodness. But I got it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. I, I got them. Because I, I honestly have so much stuff. What's wrong with you, Danielle? Hmm? Too much coffee? You okay? You need a minute? Do we need to go into the tub? Do we have to have tub talk? You might need some tub talk. You're looking a little frazzled. <laughs> You're at a 10. Let's take it to a 2. Let me get down to a 2. No, not there. I'm at an eight, but I'm better. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in that junk drawer, so I needed these. This really long, it's just really long explanation. We'll set those here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave everything in the junk drawer. That's the only drawer that's gonna be left alone. Everything else is getting pulled out. Um, I got a lot of games in here. Um, like I said, this is the, uh, in the, like I said in the last video, this is the homeschool hutch. So everything on the, on the, all of the bottom cabinets are holding all of the homeschool stuff. And then the top drawers are holding random stuff. I had a wax melt drawer, um, which became the garbage drawer, I guess. It was holding the chips and the jello packaging. I have a battery drawer and then I have an electronics drawer and then the one all the way to the far left was supposed to be a um, why am I so close to the camera was supposed to be a first aid drawer and it turned into a second junk drawer so um, anyway what I think I'm gonna do is just pull everything out and then uh, we'll just kind of go from there so and again don't pull everything out if it's gonna be overwhelming for you, just start with a drawer, start with a cabinet. I'm going for it. I shouldn't, but I am for video purposes. And I don't think, I think I can handle it. I think I can handle, you know, going through this without having to have tub talk. <laughs> okay. Even though stress shopping never ever really relieved any stress. In fact, it always followed with negative feelings. I would continue to do it. And I think a big reason why is because I would get this like dopamine rush. I was super happy and super excited and it was so much fun. And it didn't matter if I was in the stores or shopping online because they both had their exciting moments. Being in the store, you see all of the things and it's fun and it's exciting and then when you you know shop online when you're ordering stuff online you know the best part for me was when I would forget what I was ordering and then all of a sudden the items would show up at my front door and I would forget what I ordered and it would feel like Christmas day <laughs> I was getting this new item and I, it was exciting and it was new and fun the problem is is that like kids when they get a new toy and they get sick of it pretty quickly it's pretty easy for kids to get sick of toys fast it's because that newness wears off well it's a similar it's a similar thing with adults when adults get new things new items and it's exciting and new at first but then all of a sudden that feeling starts to go away it starts to become old and boring and then you know then the negative feelings really sink in because you're like, ugh, I spent money on this and now I don't even enjoy it anymore. Now that I've started this journey to minimalism, it's about being very selective in what I'm bringing into the house. It's being very intentional and living more intentionally. And, w and that includes anything that's already in the home, being very selective on the things that I keep. So 
it's a process and it's going to be hard and it's hard to break the habits of shopping. And especially, you know, especially for people who have a shopping addiction, there are people out there who are addicted to shopping and, you know, it's not just a habit. I feel like for me, it, it was more of a habit, but, you know, it can go far beyond a habit and that's hard. It's not easy. The reason why I wanted to really talk a lot about shopping too isn't just because shopping is a danger zone for me and that's something I have to completely retrain. I have to completely rethink how I shop and bring things into the home. Shopping is where most of our stuff comes from. That's where it starts. And I feel like it's very difficult to stay away from shopping considering the fact that everywhere we go, we see advertisements. We're constantly being marketed to. We're constantly seeing advertisements, whether we're driving down the road, reading a magazine, going to the stores, being on social media. Being on social media has to be one of the biggest pieces of advertisement that you'll see, you know, on any given day. And we're seeing it every day. We're seeing advertisements all of the time. It's constantly in our face. And what it's, what it's saying to us, because every advertisement is sending us a message. And these marketing companies, they are creating advertisements to really connect with you. They know what they're doing and they work hard, long hours, a lot of money spent to relay a message to you and somehow find an emotional connection to you, somehow be able to relate to you. And in return for you to buy that product. They know what they're doing and they're good at what they do and we're constantly getting messages sent and pushed into our face. And it's hard to stay away from that, especially when a lot of these messages are saying, you need me, this will solve your problem or problems. Uh, this is the new trendy thing. This is what you need in your life. You need this product in your life. These are what some of these advertisements are saying to us. These are some of the messages that we're receiving from advertisements. And it is so hard to get away from that. And it's no wonder, you know, we're shopping more. What I'm going to start doing to ultimately be more deliberate and more selective and intentional on the items that I keep and bring into my home is really asking myself the hard questions. And these questions are, do I have a purpose for it? Do I have a permanent home for it? You know, is it a vital item? Is it going to make the home more functional? Is it going to bring value to, to my life or to my home? Do I love this item? Do I need this item or do I just want this item? Do I have multiples of this item already? Asking myself the hard questions and really narrowing it down. So we'll come back to shopping at a later date. We'll talk more about it. It's something that I'm very familiar with. <laughs> I also wanted to mention that we're going to do a serious, detailed, deep clean, whole house detailed, deep clean once this series is over. And what I'm going to do with that video It'll probably be a long video. <laughs> Go figure, right? <laughs> um, it, I, there probably won't be as much chatting in the Clean With Me video, but uh, there will always be talking. <laughs> but um, the last, so after the series, uh, immediately after the series is over, which we're coming to an end, I am going to do a whole house clean. And then in that video, I'm going to do a house tour. So I, I wanted to add those two together. Uh, I feel like that way it'll complete it. I may do two parts to that. We'll see. Um, I suppose I'll do a vote on that. We'll do a poll. I love doing polls because I love hearing your thoughts on things that I'm doing. Just like in today's video, there's going to be a poll. I found, I found, uh, peel and stick wallpaper. It's brick wallpaper that I got off of Amazon. I found it in the mudroom, which by the way, the mudroom is starting to look rough. I know I said that in the first video of the series in the kitchen video um, that I, I had placed all of my you know DIY project arts and crafts stuff in there, which was a bad idea. 
yeah, we're going to have to go through that because eventually, uh, a little bit after the series, we're going to do a mudroom makeover. And I'm more than positive that is going to be a uh, office. I'm debating on making that mudroom an office. And I always said that I was going to make one room, one area in my home dedicated to the farmhouse look because the rest of the house is this industrial look with rustic accent pieces. But the farmhouse look will always have a special place in my heart. And I wanted to dedicate one room to the farmhouse look. I'm thinking the mudroom is going to be that room. However, I'm going to add in a couple of random pieces too because there's pieces of decor around my house that I will not get rid of. I love it. And I think it'll look nice in the mudroom. So we'll talk about all of that when we get to the mudroom makeover. So that's happening. I'm saving up for that. Uh, it'll be on an extreme budget and I will be very selective on what I bring into that room and how I transform it. But um, anyway, I found this brick wallpaper from Amazon in the mudroom and I forgot I was going to make an accent wall in the dining room where that large clock is. I wanted to put a brick wallpaper up. I showed this on my Instagram a super long time ago and I never did it. I never got around to putting this peel and stick wallpaper up. So I started to do it in today's video. I started to do it at about 11 o'clock at night. Why I start projects late at night, I don't know, but I do. <laughs> and uh, I don't have enough of it. <laughs> I had enough to finish uh, not even half of the wall, but I'm going to put a poll up and ask what you guys think about this peel and stick wallpaper. I want to know if you love it or you hate it. Should I keep it or should I get rid of it? I'm going to be honest. I really like it. I really, really like it. But I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what your thoughts are on this peel and stick wallpaper. And I didn't match it up very well. But after a while, I started getting really frustrated and said, I don't care. <laughs> to the decor. <laughs> um, I got I to gotta figure out what I'm going to do with all of the decor. So this one was in the bathroom. I had that fake orchid in the bathroom on that long cabinet. Here's the deal. I don't know what to do with this one. So I believe, I got these off of Hobby Lobby. It just says floral. I think they're like plant holders, pot holders, I don't know. So I like them. I just, don't know what to do with them and that's the problem it's like you know i think they're pretty i think they're cute but i have moved these around all over my house and still have not found a spot for it so do i really want to keep it <laughs> you know okay let's weigh out the pros and cons um pro do i love them I don't think so. <laughs> Do I have a place for it? A permanent home for it? Nope. <laughs> Is there a purpose for them? Not at the moment. <laughs> Do they make the home more functional? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Are they a vital item? No. <laughs> so I'm thinking there's a lot of <laughs> There's a lot of no's to these. So uh, with that being said, they're gonna go. <laughs> so we'll put this in the donation pile. In fact, I'll go do that now. Um, I actually am thinking those may make a really cute gift. I know someone who will want them. I may gift them. It's either getting donated or gifted. So we'll just, yep. <laughs> Next, uh, here's the thing. I can tell you right now the things that I know for a fact I'm gonna keep. Uh, this chest here, I am keeping. This, I am for sure keeping. 
Uh, the tray I am keeping for right now, including all of my wax melt holders. I am gonna keep this. I just need to figure out quickly where I'm gonna place this. This is getting gifted as well because I don't have a purpose or anything for it. So, um, yeah, we're gonna let the pineapple go. And yes, I know that this is a pineapple. And I know that the pear jewelry holder in the master bedroom declutter and organize was not a pineapple, it was a pear. <laughs> I don't know why I said pineapple, but I know it's a pear. <laughs> And this is the pineapple. Wouldn't that have been funny? I should have said, and the pear, I'm letting go of. <laughs> bye bye, pear. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <sighs> these I are going as well. Um, these I got from Dollar Tree. I don't want these. Uh, these candle holders, I have no idea where I got these, but these are going as well. They're getting donated. Um, honestly, I cannot figure out anything for this. This was another piece of glassware from the Dollar Tree. I could care less if I kept it or not, so I'm gonna donate this. Um, this I am keeping. Okay, so, so with this, I don't even remember where I got this, but I have kept, this is another one I've kept moving around over and over and over again and not really figuring out what I actually want to do with it. Um, I've never really been happy with it. So I'm gonna let this go too and get this stuff out of here. And then um, this can go and then this was a DIY, but um, it's it served its purpose. So these are going to uh, probably just gonna donate this one. I don't know what to do with this, but um, so yeah, all of this is going, and I'm just gonna put this in the four season for right now. So everything back there we're keeping. So this is where I've been storing all of the donation items. There's two piles of donation items in this room. This pile, this whole pile right here, these are all going to nonprofit organizations such as the Family Center and Animal Rescue Center. And then the other donation pile that you're gonna see here in a little bit, those are all items I can't donate to the nonprofit organizations. Those will be going to like Goodwill. But everything here is new clothes. Uh, everything in this basket is new or unopened products. Uh, underneath those pictures are old blankets and towels. Those are going to the animal rescue shelter. There's a lot of other blankets and toys and uh, a lot of books. I tried condensing everything from all of those areas in my house. I just tried to condense everything. So you're going to see cardboard boxes, grocery bags, fabric cubes, everything's condensed. And the reason why I did that is so I could fit everything into the mom van because I'm going to a bunch of different places. I just wanted to make one car load. <laughs> so I condensed everything. But before um, we leave this room and put everything into the mom van, I wanted to mention something. One of my friends on here had made a comment letting me know that buffalo check thing is not a scarf. It's not a throw. <laughs> it's a table runner. <laughs> so in the last video, I'm wearing it as a scarf. And I was using it as a throw. And here, it's a table runner. <laughs> only me, only I would wear it as a scarf. <laughs> I'm picturing me walking outside of the house wearing a table runner as a scarf. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? 
Thank you so much for letting me know. Seriously, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for letting me know. <laughs> And it fits. It all fits in the mom van. I'm telling you, this mom van, it fits a lot. <laughs> it fits so much stuff. <laughs> I was able to put literally everything in here. I'm gonna go to the other side too. Mom van fits so much, the mom van fits all things. <laughs> oh. I cannot say this enough, how awesome it feels to get rid of all of this stuff. Bye-bye. So this is the before, this is what the hutch, the dining room looked like before we started to declutter and organize. The hutch was the worst out of the whole dining room. Uh, the top cabinets are holding a bunch of books and candy. I have no idea how long the candy has been sitting there, but I decided to test it out to see. And it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Uh, it was pretty good. So, you know, you got to test those things out just to make sure. <laughs> oh, the random things that I found in my house. <laughs> but this cabinet is the cabinet to the far right. It was holding a bunch of random stuff, tools, things like that. There's a bunny in there that broke that I have to fix. And then the bottom cabinets is where all of the homeschool stuff is. Uh, this cabinet specifically was holding a bunch of games. It was pretty bad. It was also holding random things like empty containers. I did end up getting rid of these fabric cubes. I didn't need them anymore. But in a second here, you're going to see the junk drawer. And I recent, well, not recently, but not too long ago, I did organize the junk drawer. The reason why it looks like this is because I literally dumped everything out. So there was these long... Dollar Tree uh, divider trays that I wanted to use for the dental drawer. So I cleaned them out and I put those in the dental drawer so everybody has their own individual tray. But I just dumped it out. So that's why it looks so bad. And then you just seen a drawer with batteries. That's the battery drawer. This cabinet was holding all of the kids' uh, Play Dohs, arts and crafts. Uh, some school supply stuff, things like that. I was keeping those dish pans in there. They were working. They work. I just overfilled them. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, everything is spilling out. <laughs> this this cabinet right here is holding all of the kids. Um, worksheet packets and books. This is really the uh, home school homework cabinet. Um, so that's basically what most of this is holding. Also coloring books. And then there was some random stuff in there, some more arts and crafts and school supplies stuff in there that didn't belong in there, but was in there. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was just scattered all over the place. It really needed to be decluttered and organized. And then this drawer became the second junk drawer. There's just randomness in here. And then this drawer was uh, holding old electronics. The dining room. I'm gonna grab my coffee this basket I still don't know what to do with it so we're just gonna let it sit there for right now I'll see how it feels um and I don't know we'll 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 see I don't know where to put it <laughs> I might put it in the four season but that's gonna be the next video mm. possibly the rest of the house I might just do the rest of the house in the next video but I just think this looks so much better this looks so much better 
with it being empty. It just, I love it. I, for the longest time, just could not figure out what to do with those books. And now the books are in containers. You know, Zoe has her container in her room. Lucas has his in his room. Ian and I have ours in our room. And we dress, like we minimize the books by a lot. So I, I just think this looks so much nicer. Um, I'll start over here. So this one is empty. That is completely empty. And then down here, we have the games at the, at the bottom of the cabinet. <laughs> and then I have some playing cards right there. Uh, this is where the kinetic sand is and um, some of this stuff. So I just put it in here. And then eventually this will go into my office. This thing will go into my office. And I am very much considering making the mudroom my office. And then the junk drawer, I absolutely love these. I love these so much. And they're from the Dollar Tree. You get three for a buck. I love these. They are so cute. They fit perfectly in here. I love them. I really, really, really love them. So that's what the uh, junk drawer looks like. Very, it's so much better, so much better. And it's micro organized, which I like. I like that this is micro organized. And then here is where the batteries will stay. Down here are uh, the kids' supplies. So they got their markers, colored pencils, crayons, pe pencils. Um, that's a birth birthday card kit, which I thought was kind of cool, so I just put it there. There are other school materials, dry erase boards, scissors, glue. Um, I used a lot of these for uh, the kids' stuff, as well as tools. I used, I think I only have a couple more that are empty and that's it. I've, I've been using those up and I got a lot of them, so that's awesome, I love those. And then their arts and crafts are down here. And then their Play-Doh stuff is right there. And what I'm gonna end up doing is just using my label maker and labeling all of these. I'll also be using my label maker and labeling the pink containers as well. And then in this drawer is empty. We're gonna leave this one empty. We're leaving this one empty and this one empty. So all three of these drawers are empty. And then down here is their school stuff. So this is Zoe's side and this is Lucas's side. And uh, I'm gonna end up labeling this so they know which side. I'll probably end up getting a container for their stuff, maybe, we'll see. I don't know if it's necessary, but I'm definitely gonna label, probably put the label in the back there. I may even put it right on the door. And then this is their uh, coloring books. And then the top uh, filing rack there is just blank paper. It's just blank paper. And then we have math, science, reading, English, writing. Stuff like that is in those uh, filing baskets. So here's the dining room. I love the dining room. I love the living room. It feels, it looks amazing. I love it. The accent table that's, that was over by the wall where the sliding glass door is, that accent table's in the entryway. And we're gonna talk more about the entryway in the mudroom in the next video. But I really wanted to focus on this accent wall. So this is where I put the wallpaper. I really wanted an accent wall and I wanted something industrial. I do like this. I didn't order enough, <laughs> so it's partially finished which is good because we're gonna put this to a vote. We're gonna see uh, how many votes we get for it to stay or how many votes we get for it to go. So that will be in the community post. So be sure to check out that poll because if we get enough 
likes on it. If we get enough votes for yes, keep it, then I'll order more wallpaper. But if we're like, ick, we hate it, then I'll take it down. But I do like it. I think it, I, I really do like it. I think it looks really cool with the clock, but I don't know. I, I have no idea. So we're going to put it to a vote. <laughs> we need a new dining room table. We need new chairs and a new table because it's pretty bad. Focus. I really, really like that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. And then I just put this out here for show. I still, I don't know what to do with these baskets. I just don't know what to do with them yet. We need a lamp or some kind of lighting over in this corner. We need lighting, so I'll have to see what I can do about that. But um, yeah, this is it. Looks good. I really, really like it. We'll do, I'll do a house tour when, you know, a little bit after we're done. I'll do a, I'll do a whole house tour. So I tour. put the pompous grass in this plant stand. The plant stand is from Hobby Lobby. I have one in the main hallway too, but I put both of these in the corner here. I really like it. I think it looks pretty, but I found out that to fluff up your pompous grass, you can take a blow dryer on low heat and fluff it up that way because both of my pomp, I love pompous grass. I have pompous grass on the dining room table and over here. I plan on getting more pompous grass and greenery, but um, I think I overdid it with the blow dryer with the pompous grass on the dining room table. I'm, I may have overdid it, but <laughs> I think it looks a lot better. I really like it. So that is the living room and the dining room. Once we're done with the series, we're gonna do a whole house detailed deep clean and a house tour. Plus we're gonna be working on the mud room, plus more about minimalism, plus more decluttering. <laughs> There's a lot coming to the channel. I have so much planned out and I really hope that you're enjoying this series and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I can't say this enough. Every time I make an area more minimal, I just love it. It looks great. It feels great. I would say we probably have one or two more videos left of the series, and then we'll be done with the series. But that is it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you so much, and we will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everyone.